welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. In today's tip, we're going to be blending art and science. I'm a sucker for a good Venn diagram. We'll be cutting down our simulation setup time essentially through the judicious application of some paint. Digital paint, anyway. Here's a scenario that we see often. We've got this pump housing, and in this simulation, we need to test this housing with an internal pressure as well as some external loads. The problem is, we have a significant number of internal faces, and no good way to tell SolidWorks which ones those are. So that means we're stuck manually selecting each internal face to create the pressure load. One of the techniques that I use in these situations is to select by painting. This isn't necessarily a common technique in SolidWorks, but I think it's a great tool to have in your belt. What we'll do is take advantage of the appearance tools to expand the number of faces we can touch with every selection. The more faces we can get per click, the better. Often in these situations, the internal faces are created with different features than the outer ones, and that's our advantage. So what I like to do is strip off the existing appearances to begin with. This isn't necessary, but I just like to start painting with a clean palette. I'll use the breadcrumbs with the D key to right click the part and remove the appearances. Now I'll apply a color and I'll edit it immediately by holding the Alt key while I drag the appearance on. I'll set it to whatever color I like. I usually use something bright and easily identifiable. Now the key here is to apply it to the feature. This will paint the appearance to all of the unique faces that this feature has created. This is no guarantee that they're inside faces, but they often are. In complex situations like this, you'll still end up ahead of the game even if you get some on the outer faces. So this is the key to multiplying our selections. With each face selection, I've tagged the associated faces for free. So now I'll work around my interior faces. Notice that with each face selection, I'm getting more than one face because it's applying to the whole feature. Another great way to do this is to copy and paste the appearance with a filter set pinned to feature. Remember, copy appearance is control shift C and paste appearance is control shift V. This also works great with your 3D connection mouse if you have one. I've set my button 10 and 11 on my enterprise mouse to copy and paste appearance, so I have one button clicks. Now that we've got the interior faces all painted, we just need to make sure that we didn't let any paint spill over onto the outer faces. I have a couple of spots where the same feature did create the inside and the outside faces, so I'll just copy and paste the base appearance to the outer face. Just remember to use the face feature this time when you're applying the appearance. Now I'll apply a new appearance to my hole patterns. Here I can get all six holes with one snag. I'll make these green. We've painted the faces we want to use for specific purposes, but how do we select them? Well, that's actually the easy part. The Power Select tool is designed for jobs just like this. The Power Select tool has all sorts of capabilities, but today we like it to select all faces of a certain color. I've set my desired selections to faces, and I've filtered by face color. Now we just need to choose a color and hit search. With the faces all selected, I can simply close down the power select tool. The selections will stick and we can use them for whatever purpose we need. If you need it for multiple purposes, it might be wise to create a selection set. I'd like to use these for a pressure load in my simulation, so I'll do that here. I'll also create the force loading selection by simply selecting the color from the graphics area. Now we've picked up all six faces, and we can use that to apply our loaded condition. That's it. We've reduced our selection time dramatically from picking faces manually. If you don't believe me, stick around for a side-by-side -side comparison. If you're too anxious to give it a try and can't wait, well, I hope to see you back next week for another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip.
Well, both could have been done a little bit faster, but in this case, I saved five minutes in just applying one load. I could have used Select Tangency in this instance to grab a few extra faces in the manual selection, but that isn't always the case either. One thing I did notice in doing these back to back is I was much less likely to make a mistake or miss a face selection by using the paint method, even though in the demo I did actually miss a face. The paint method is also a great communication tool for after the study is complete. You can use this to much more clearly illustrate how the study was set up, which is also an added benefit. Well, thanks again for watching, and if you have any success using this technique, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. See you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.